season-long prop bet. You're going to give me your pick. Prop party, Dave. You're up first. All right. All right. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, over or under 4,550 and a half uh, regular season passing yards. He's an MVP quarterback, but he's not really a big yards guy. You look at his career high, he's 4,600 yards. That came 10 years ago. By the way, you know, the other mega quarterbacks of the generation, Brady's 5,200, Peyton 5,400, Breeze 5,400, Big Ben 5,100. Here's a guy that's never been over 4,600. Yeah, we get an extra game this year, but his average 4,200 based Basically over his 11 seasons that he made it through the end of the year. I'm going under. All right, Ed, coming to you next. Over or under a six and a half regular season receiving touchdowns for first year Titan Julio Jones. Big question here is who is Ryan Tannehill going to throw to? Yeah, I like A.J. Brown a good bit, but Derrick Henry is not going to be this constant red zone running back. Eventually, defenses are going to stack the box. And so Ryan Tannehill's got to score touchdowns through the air. Not too many options. Probably going to Julio Jones. Give me the over. Okay, Pony, your turn. Let's focus on a running back now. Saquon Barkley, the Giants taking a long-term approach here to uh, his return from injury. You go in over or under 1,125 and a half regular season rushing yards for Barkley this season. Oh, man, get on the FanDuel Sportsbook now and bet that under. What a great bet that is. Only two guys went over that rushing total last year, and I know it was only in a 16-game season. But Saquon Barkley's missed a lot of time the last two years. Plus, think about this, Lisa. How many times are the Giants actually going to be leading in the second half where they lean on Barkley? They got a terrible offensive line. They're going to throw it a ton. Take the under. And we already know limited workload here in week one. Thank you, Pony. Cole, you're up. Here's a fun one for you. Over or under 900 and a half rushing yards for Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. Well, this is a tricky question. In a perfect world, I would usually say that uh, Lamar Jackson, well, uh, he would cut back on running the rock. But since he's refined that passing game a little bit and we've seen the rushing yards dip over the last two seasons, albeit that he has been over a thousand yards, uh, I just don't see him doing what he's going to look to do when it comes to reducing those. There's injuries, of course, J.K. Dobbins, and Justice Hill, and uh, with Le'Veon Bell in the practice squad. I just see Lamar Jackson running the ball more out of necessity, so I see him going over that 900 and a half yards this season, Lisa. It'll be interesting to see if he gets over that thousand mark too.